Hi gorgeous, Olga's here. Welcome, welcome. Today we are tapping on overcoming the fear of failure. And this is such a great topic. Um, and it applies to a lot of different levels in our life, right? We can use it for business, we can use it for personal, we can use it for relationships like dating, right? <laughs> a great topic there. And things that we labor with failure, not necessarily might be even a failure, just experiences. But the way it's perceived by us often t can hold us back with taking the forward steps and moving forward in life. So today we're going to clear all of that and we'll start with the three steps on how to do this. First thing that I want you to do is to think about something that you would like to clear. So if you if you have a fear of fear, failure coming up and it's very clear and strong, see if there's a specific memory or an experience that come to mind that hold this intensity very strong. So for example, if you um, wanted to do webinars for your business and maybe you tried to do one and you didn't have a lot of people show up or, or nobody showed up, um, then maybe you'll have some resistance to trying it again, even though it's a great strategy. And maybe there's just some tweaking that needs to be done for people to, to come and to, um, to, to be able to learn from you. Or maybe you had an experience in your personal life with uh, meeting someone or um, with your partner or with your friends. And you are considering doing or stepping into something and you feel like, it's totally coming up. That is another great place to clear. So whatever is showing up in your life, just notice how do you know. So the first step, notice how you know if you have any memories, any specific experience or any feelings in your body. So this is very relevant for me right now because I'm about to start um, a, a new chapter in my business and I am actually started working with a new business coach who is amazing. And she gave me homework assignment to do and one of them has to do with the Facebook groups. So I have a bit of a resistance coming up to doing this work, even though logically I understand it's, it's a great opportunity and it's my next step. But emotionally, I can feel a little bit of, I've done that before, I kind of tried it. Um, I spent a lot of time on doing this. It didn't really work for me. You know? So I have all of this coming up. So this is a great time to clear it so you can make the best decisions, so you can move forward, so you can start you know doing what you need to do to succeed right now the second step to this process is to tap which is exactly what we're going to do in just a second and then the last step we're going to fast forward or we're going to do a future pace exercise to rehearse how would you actually like that thing to go so go ahead and just kind of step into this place that you'd like to clear whatever fear coming up and really you know give yourself permission to be honest and present and authentic just to really be you and give yourself permission to feel what's coming up to feel what you feel and as you do so just close your eyes step into this place if you feel like a lot of stuff coming up feel free to pause this video and journal just really free flowing the feelings the emotions the pictures the memories the people and then we'll tap on all of them We'll clear it out we'll we'll change the presentation so we'll do the tapping around together so if you feel like you need to pause, go ahead and pause and journal. Otherwise, just step into this place, notice what's coming up, and then it'll tap together. As you start feeling it, notice how strong. It could be, you know, something around five or six, or it could be as, as much as 10, but whatever it is, just notice so you can measure your progress. And as you do, just tap between your eyes and repeat after me. Say this feeling, the feeling of failure. All the times I tried before, and it didn't work. It's safe for me to clear it. All in the past, no longer real, doesn't exist. I keep my lessons and my gifts from those experiences. And I release all the not good enough, that I did it wrong, the fears, the worries, this um, freezing feelings, this fear of taking action, the sphere of moving on, it's safe to release it. I'm right here right now, tapping with Olga. The rest is not real. I am creating my reality right now. This is the only thing that's real. And it's my time to design my life and my future. It's much easier to live without fears, or at least without them running my life. So I make smart choices. 
So I release all the memories, all the experiences. What happened in the past does not serve me. I refuse to hold on to that. The past is in the past. It's safe to let it go. I've done the best. They've done the best. I've learned from it. Next time it's going to be better. I've gotten some gifts out of it. I evolved. And it's my time to forgive myself and to forgive others and step in to a different phase of my life. A little less fear, a little more enthusiasm. I'm right here right now. I am doing it. So it's my time to take that step and to release the fears. Just let it go. And just go ahead and grab your wrist, pull strong. If you never tap this style, guys, it's actually faster EFT tapping. So it has a little bit less points, but it does work just the same. If you like the classic EFT, just use that. You can use the script that, that you know we're using right now. So once you tap, just kind of go back in there and check. And I'll do this with you. So I have a project or, or, or um, a, an item or to-do list that I will need to be doing. So I'm going to step in and see if there's anything there that's kind of stopping me from it. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty good. So if you are in a place to where you feel comfortable, neutral, there's no nothing sticking up, there's no triggers, you're ready for a next step. If it's still kind of like pretty strong, you keep on tapping. And you can see it's very, very simple. I, I just say things that are coming up for me. So this particular script, I use it kind of more general. But if you have something very specific coming up, go there and clear it. Tap on it until you cannot feel it very strongly. Until it's not important. It's kind of boring. You know, it will become small. It will shrink down. It will change. So give it some time for your body to adjust to change. And after a few rounds, move in with me to the step number three. So on the third step, we'll actually rewrite the memory. We'll change it and we move past forward. So... In my case, I didn't have very strong emotional negative energy there behind the things that I was tapping on from the past. So I don't need to do a lot of work there. But if you did, go there and change it. And then, so how do you change it? Just rewrite it in your mind, right? Because it's your mind, it's your imagination, it's your subconscious mind. So you're the boss. So you decide what you hold in, right? And what you hold in your track. So go there and change it to where it serves you. Rewrite it, reimprint it. Um, so almost like you are the actress and you are the director of that movie. So really like completely change it, you know. Uh, another way to do it is to maybe keep the original kind of memory, but change the way you feel about it. Like you know that what happened is happened, but it's your best and highest good. It was a learning experience. You've grown, you've evolved. Uh, it helped you with something. Um, this is something that you've benefited from on some level. So change it from that perspective. So it's empowering feeling when you look back at that experience. And then once you've done it, this is go ahead and do the fast forward of future pacing. So in my case, it's me seeing, working through that project, taking the steps that I need to take. There are quite a few steps. So I, I you know, I feel a little bit of coming up. So we'll, we'll tap a little bit more and just start visualizing it the way that you want it to go. And go ahead and tap with me. We can tap a little on this step as well and say the remaining feeling. It's safe for me to clear it. It's safe for me to see the way I see. I'm going to use the power of visualization to create the outcome that I desire. Because I'm in charge. My mind. My life. My reality. I create it. By my thoughts and actions. So I'm in charge. And that's the good news. So I decide to see the way I want to see, to take the steps that I need I need to take with ease and grace. And I choose to feel at peace and I choose to enjoy because what's the point if you're not enjoying it? It's the most important part. So my number one to do on the list is to have fun and to feel good and everything else will come along. But for now, I choose to picture the outcome the way that I desire, releasing everything else, knowing that every day is a new day and it's safe for me to start from scratch. 
it's safe to let it go. All in the past, just let it go. And then just grab your wrist, pulse round, breathe in, and breathe out, and say peace. Fantastic job. A quick recap of this video, guys. So when you tap in on the fear of failure, three quick steps. First, see if there's any specific events from the past that you'd like to clear, that you pull in your energy, that are holding you back, that's sucking down and draining your, <laughs> your life source. So tap on that, clear it out, to make sure they are neutral or positive. Number two, the tapping process itself, right? So once you get clear on what you need to tap on, tap on it, release, let go, make sure that it's really, really not important, that does not take a lot of spice and energy in your mind. And step number three, change the memory if it was very strong or something that you felt um, took a lot of space, emotional space in you, or if it's already not that big of a deal, face put fast forward or pace forward to where you create the outcome that you want and desire. Alrighty guys, fantastic job. If you have any questions, comment below or hit reply if you're watching it in the newsletter and I'll be happy to help you out. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.